Welcome to the New Horizon Updates channel. We're thrilled to have you here in our ever-expanding community. This is your one-stop shop for all the latest news and insights on our latest breakthroughs. So buckle up and join us on this exciting journey through uncharted territories. Let's explore these new horizons together, shall we? Here is a detailed update. Thousands of troops are ready to launch a major operation in Palestine, issuing a grave warning. The Prime Minister of Palestine warns of serious consequences if Israel proceeds with a ground invasion into the Gaza Strip. Prime Minister Mohammed St. on October 20th cautioned that if Israel advances into Gaza with a ground attack, it could result in the loss of 10,000 to 15,000 Palestinian lives. St. stated that blind support for Israel amounts to a death sentence. Therefore, Palestine hopes that the United States will not follow this path. The White House should urge all parties to seek a peaceful solution to the conflict. However, ST believes that U.S. leadership currently lacks the political will to end the conflict between Palestine and Israel. On the same day, the Red Crescent announced that Israel had ordered the evacuation of Hospital C in Gaza before bombing it. The organization reported that the hospital was treating 400 patients and an additional 12,000 civilians were being evacuated within the hospital compound. Israel's Defense Forces, IDF, said they have asked people in the northern Gaza Strip to evacuate to minimize harm to civilians. Israel accuses Hamas of deliberately placing its military assets in civilian areas and using Gaza's residents as human shields, according to IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagar. Hagar further stated that the IDF is preparing for the next phase of the fight against Hamas, prioritizing the rescue of abducted individuals and determining the whereabouts of missing persons through civilian intelligence and military means. He added that border crossings remain closed, with no humanitarian aid entering Gaza. Israeli officials also called for over one million people in northern Gaza to evacuate to the southern part, hinting at preparations for a large-scale ground offensive. The international community, including the African Union and the Arab League, criticized Israel's attack, urging it to cease hostilities and warning that a ground campaign could lead to unprecedented catastrophe. President Biden explained why Hamas initiated the conflict at this time, suggesting it aimed to prevent the normalization of relations between Israel and Arab countries, particularly Saudi Arabia. On October 20th, President Biden stated that the attacks on October 10th by the Hamas Islamist group and Israel aimed to thwart the possibility of normalizing relations between Israel and Arab states. The ongoing conflict has resulted in over 1,400 Israeli casualties and more than 4,000 Palestinian casualties from IDF airstrikes. In 2020, several Middle Eastern leaders who have traditionally supported neighboring Gulf states, such as the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, established relations with Israel. However, normalization of relations with Israel has not been achieved with Hamas. They believe that establishing a Palestinian state is a prerequisite for doing so, one of the reasons that have prompted their actions against Israel. Cited President Biden as he said that, Nevertheless, he believes the possibility of normalizing relations still exists, but it will take time. In June 2023, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, during a diplomatic mission to Riyadh, emphasized the priority of normalizing relations between Saudi Arabia and Arab countries. After Hamas's attack on Israel, Blinken stressed that it would not be surprising if part of the motivation behind the attack was to disrupt efforts to bring Arab states and Israel together. Furthermore, President Biden suggested that Israel should delay the ground invasion of Gaza until more hostages are rescued. When asked if the attack should be postponed, he responded with a yes. However, the White House later clarified that the U.S. president misheard the question and thought he was asked if he wanted more hostages to be saved. Previously, Hamas had released two American hostages, and there is hope for the release of more captives out of around 200 people they have detained. Talks to release the hostages are ongoing. Moreover, the U.S. and Europe are urging Israel to delay its ground invasion of Gaza to allow more time for secret negotiations to free captives. Other nations are calling on Israel to have clear objectives when deploying troops to the region and avoid long-term occupation. They hope that Israel acts in accordance with international humanitarian law. NATO defense ministers expressed concern that the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas poses global economic risks and could lead central banks into a new fight against inflation. President Biden mentioned that the recent developments have sounded the alarm about the potential for a prolonged conflict in the Middle East and the inherent risk of destabilizing the global economy. The impact of this event may take time to evaluate, depending on the duration and severity of the ongoing conflict and whether it spreads to other areas in the region. Austin Kasten, director of the International Settlement Bank, 
said it is too early to assess the impact. While stock markets and oil prices may experience immediate effects, the ongoing Middle East conflict could pose new challenges to global economic growth, which is already slowing down. The U.S. market is also preparing for the possibility of disruptions, as the Federal Reserve has kept interest rates higher for a longer duration than anticipated. Any economic instability could postpone policy decisions by nations, increase risk costs, and disrupt the oil market. All markets are closely monitoring potential scenarios that may unfold. Kanan Baum, an economist from Northern J Financial, believes that any significant shocks to economic confidence stemming from the current conflict are possible. It is certain that it will become the focal point of discussion among global financial leaders as they gather in Morocco. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the World Bank will convene to evaluate the global economy. The global economy is still experiencing significant fluctuations due to the COVID-19 pandemic and trade tensions in recent times. For central banks, this conflict may potentially push them into a precarious situation and increase inflationary pressures. The Middle East is not only home to major oil producing nations like Iran and XYZ, but also holds critical shipping routes. Experts believe that high energy prices pose hidden risks to their inflation outlook. Economists are carefully monitoring data in the coming days rather than following predetermined paths, as any significant economic shock from the ongoing conflict could impact global economic trust. President Biden has mentioned that the recent developments have sounded the alarm about the potential for a prolonged conflict in the Middle East and the inherent risk of destabilizing the global economy. The impact of this event may take time to evaluate, depending on the duration and severity of the ongoing conflict and whether it spreads to other areas in the region. Austin Kasten, director of the International Settlement Bank, said it is too early to assess the impact. While stock markets and oil prices may experience immediate effects, the ongoing Middle East conflict could pose new challenges to global economic growth, which is already slowing down. The U.S. market is also preparing for the possibility of disruptions, as the Federal Reserve has kept interest rates higher for a longer duration than anticipated. Any economic instability could postpone policy decisions by nations, increase risk costs, and disrupt the oil market. All markets are closely monitoring potential scenarios that may unfold. Kanan Baum, an economist from Northern J Financial, believes that any significant shocks to economic confidence stemming from the current conflict are possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Your support is invaluable to us. If the content was enjoyable to you, please don't hesitate to hit like and subscribe. It's your unwavering support that ignites our creative sparks. A massive thank you to you all.